What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at again with another video. So, we got some breaking news. This has uh, been circulating on Twitter and Instagram. You guys have been hitting me up, letting me know about it. Uh, Jay Cargill officially signs with WWE. We're going to check this out. Um, this is um, brought to us by ESPN, actually. It's on their website. Former AEW champion Jay Cargill signs with WWE. <clears throat> Jay Cargill, a rising star in professional wrestling and former champion in all elite wrestling, has signed with WWE promotion officials told ESPN. Jay uh, Cargill, who was AEW's longest reigning TBS champion and appeared on AEW's television as recently as two weeks ago, will start with WWE on Tuesday at its performance center. <clears throat> In Orlando, Florida, officials said it uh, remains unclear if uh, Cargill will go straight to the uh, WWE main roster or if she will first perform at its developmental brand NXT. Cargill, 31, has been wrestling professionally for only two years. Her in-ring debut came in <clears throat> AEW as part of a high-profile mixed tag team match in march 2021 she teamed with nba uh, legend shaquille o'neal against cody rose and red velvet rose and uh rose one of cargill's mentors at his nightmare factory in georgia signed with wwe last year after helping found aew in 2019 and headlined wrestlemania 39 cargill was the first aew tbs champion and held the title from january 5th 2022 to may 28th 2023 a span of 508 days the florida native is considered a major future star in pro wrestling and beyond the five foot ten cargill uh was a fitness model before wrestling and has nearly 1 million instagram followers she played division one basketball at jacksonville university her partner is a former cincinnati reds player brandon phillips cargill and phillips are owners of a women's professional fast pitch wpf team um a w, a wpf team the texas smoke so they just went into her background and stuff like that but it's very interesting the rumors were circulating and it is official she is a part of wwe don't know how long but i'm pretty sure it's a lucrative contract me personally i do think she needs to start off in nxt her wrestling was <laughs> some could say to be desired granted she just started in the business two years prior so i get it she was definitely still kind of green but i think what they were going for is her look and the star appeal that she potentially had um i do think that they need to start her up in nxt have her kind of get used to the wwe system kind of build her up through there before we throw her into the deep end on the main roster because i already know there's gonna be people that want to see her uh and bianca have a few or maybe her and at some point rhea ripley have a few but you gotta build towards that you know so i don't think they need to fast track her to the main roster i think she needs to work and hone her skills a little bit more have her be on nxt grow grow from there and then you can go forward because not everybody knows who she is so this will be a great introduction i know a lot of the you know hardcore wrestling fans who know she, who she is but to you know really to get the main roster to know who she is you got to kind of gradually you know get her into the system and i do think she has some star potential i do think wwe is going to treat her as such i mean it's on espn right now they're they're, they're covering it on espn so clearly they want her to be seen as a big deal uh tony khan did that for a while i just feel like tony khan kind of threw her in that spot she was still kind of relatively green uh tried to give her the gold bird treatment but it's just the people that she was facing it didn't really matter it felt like the matches and feuds had no weight to it it was just another person for her to beat on her undefeated streak and i hopefully hopefully they can build upon her star power and her in-ring ability and grow that before we even think about main roster anything before we think about titles grow her first in nxt and if you see some good progress hell put the women's nxt championship on her at some point if that's what you're gonna do and then 
you know, after a while, bring her up. Or you may not even want to put the NXT championship on her. You can do, you know, just have her be a dominant force without having the women's NXT championship, you know, without her winning it, if that's something you wanted to do and then kind of bring her up still. Either way, however you want to do it, it needs to be performance center, then NXT, then main roster, not jump the ship and go to main roster because I still think that she's still a little too green in the ring and I do think she needs to hone her skills just a bit more before we even throw her into the deep end that's just my personal opinion but shout out to her being able to you know uh sign up with WWE that's a big very very big uh move for her so comment down below let me know do you guys feel like she needs to start off in uh NXT first before going to the main roster or do y'all feel like she should just be skyrocketed to the main roster immediately after you know uh they kind of train her you know into the wwe format of wrestling and stuff like that into their system do you think she should just be skyrocketed to the main roster and who would you love to see her feud with if she goes to nxt first or if she ends up going to the main roster first let me know down below but i appreciate all the love and support Road to 150K, and I'm still here on the speed of YouTube Wrestling Champion of the World. Appreciate y'all kicking with me. See y'all next one. Peace.